Okay, we're going to look at module 7, tax and VAT, value added tax. This is in your textbook on page 198. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just do a brief summary of some of the content, mainly focusing on some theory that you need to know so that you understand the bigger picture. I've started writing this already. So first of all, at the top, we've got corporate tax. This is for a company or a business. If you are earning more than a million rand a year, then you have to pay income tax. This is normally 28% in South Africa. Then number two, which is the next one, which is quite personal, and that would be on salaries and wages. P-A-Y-E. What does this stand for? I'm waiting. Yes, pay as you earn. Okay, so this is also what we call an income tax. That's why I've done them both in blue. And they vary. You'll see there's a document that I'll add to your teams where you can see different um, people pay different types of tax. It all depends on how much money you are earning. Then the next one that I want to look at is called, it's in your textbook on page 199, probably about the last paragraph, where they refer to, number three, custom duties okay that we have not a lot of at the moment so this is mainly for imports so as you can see on the map stuff is coming into south africa a lot of it from china assuming that that stopped a while back and then australia america south america a little bit from europe as well do note that a lot of our harbors are closed at the moment because of covid19 so it'll be interesting to see the availability of stuff when we do go back to the shops and normal, how long we're going to wait for stuff that's coming from overseas. Then the next one, which is number four, let's put it, squeeze it in here, excess duties. And this is normally one we call the syntax. So this would refer to your alcohol, your cigarettes, um, even cigars. So wine, spirits, any of those, you pay some extra additional tax on those. Why? Because the government wants to discourage you to be using those. And why would the government do that? Well, obviously, it's not good for you. Okay, if you don't know that yet, don't try and find out by yourself. Okay, let's go. I want a different color. Number five. Number five is estate duty. Now, estate duty, we have spoken about this as length, especially when we spoke about our Hollywood people. When they die, um, they've got a will or a testament, and any money or wealth that's left behind will be taxed. So this is happening when there's death in the family or somebody dies, and the, government's, the government wants a piece of the cake. They want part of the estate, so whatever is left over after the person's debt has been paid. Then we're going to the last one, and this will be number six. Going back to a blue color, and this is transfer duties. Now, when you buy a house or a property, there's a part of the um, price. So they say the selling price, additionally, there's a percentage that will go to the government as soon as you buy and sell properties. So this you can refer to as properties. Okay. So those are your six main taxations or tax in South Africa. We're going to, at the top, we had income tax. Then we had customs, excess, this is the sin duties, estate. And then finally, we had transfer duties. The biggest one of them all, which we're probably focusing on the most, is this one though. Your VAT, value added tax. You have heard of this one before. If you can see the numbers... Great, you don't need glasses, otherwise I'm just going to read them out to you. The subtotal of this slip is 69 Rand 89, and then the yellow part is the VAT, 12 Rand 14. That means when you are paying this teller, or cashier rather, you're going to pay 82 Rand and 3 cents. So what they're showing here is that there's a tax that's excluding 69 Rand, and there's an amount that's including of that. And that's 82 rand. What is our percentage of that in South Africa? Currently 15%. Don't think it will go up soon. It was 14% for more than 20, well, almost 20 years. So I think it will stay like that. And especially in times like these, we're definitely not going to get that increase. Okay, so that's the basics 
on tax. The next video will go on how that flows between the customer and everybody else that's involved.